This room honestly is just getting worse. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday. Saturday the 6th of July and as you can tell I've literally just curled my hair. I'm just kind of like letting them set before I brush them out because my hair just like drops instantly. So yeah, just ignore that. But I am just getting ready because today is so exciting. I'm actually really excited today for today anyway because we... When I say we, myself, my mum, my two sisters and Romy, maybe Grayson, I don't know what's happening with Grayson, I believe he might be staying with, with Jaden, but we are planning to go wedding dress shopping because guess who gets married next year? It's just actually insane that I'm even saying that, but yeah, we're going wedding dress shopping. We're not going anywhere too fancy. There's this place in the city centre and they sell wedding dresses and don't get me wrong, I don't believe they're the best, but... I'm actually really nervous to try on wedding dresses and for like my first time I feel like I just want to go somewhere really chilled, really relaxed. They don't require an appointment and I just want to get a feel of actually trying on a dress to be honest because it actually daunts me the fact of like trying on a wedding dress. Obviously like I'm nine months postpartum like since having wrote me and obviously my body is not the same what it used to be like so trying on a wedding dress. <laughs> I am really dreading guys, I'm really really dreading but this is why I'm going to go somewhere really chilled for my first time trying on a wedding dress. There is like other places I do want to go but they require like a £25 booking fee and I'm like why? Like <laughs> yes I'm going somewhere that's free to try on dresses, not free dresses but free to try on their dresses, no appointment required, just very just laid back chilled vibes which I feel like I need for my first time trying on a wedding dress. You might be surprised, I might actually really like a dress in there but I thought I might start somewhere cheap and bonus if I find something I like there. They also have bridesmaid dresses there, which I feel like is really good for my sisters to try on a wedding, uh, a bridesmaid dress. They can get a feel of what they like as well. So I'm going to bring you guys along. I feel like it's going to be a really, really exciting vlog for you guys to see and for me to even film. I'm really excited and I'm going to actually just chuck some clothes on because I just literally grabbed this t-shirt just to start the intro of this vlog. I was going to vlog me getting ready, but... I feel like I always start my vlogs getting ready, so I kind of like wanted to start it once I was ready. My mum is planning on coming up soon, actually. I might give my sisters a call because they said they're going to be here for one. It's already half past 12. England is playing tonight, guys, and I kind of want to get back. Even though I'm no football fan, guys, I literally despise football. But when England's playing, you kind of feel like you need to step up. And now they're getting like through and through. Even though they're literally hanging on by a thread. I don't know how they got through the last game, as Jane told me. But yeah, I want to get back to kind of watch that. So let's ring my sister Maddie. Guaranteed they just woke up. Her and my mum had a night shift last night. So they're probably not in the best of moods to go out wedding dress shopping, not gonna lie. It was actually my mum's idea to be fair. Oh hello. Hello. You right? This is what you call a crazy household. Like I'm sorry. What are you doing? What is this song? What is going on? Romy, tell me what's going on, my darling. <laughs> Look at her hair, guys. I started doing it up in the little bow bow. You look so cute. Right, Alexa. Alexa. Oh. Not a vibe, Jaden. I'm sorry. Oh, listen to you. Alexa. Oh. Bah. Right, guys. I'm just going to quickly chuck some trainers on. My mum's on her way up, finally, because we've been waiting all morning for my mum to come. The only thing with these trainers, I'm wearing these guys. My mum got these for me for my birthday. I'm obsessed with them. Definitely on the trend. Ruby literally took the mic out of me when I was buying these, but I love them so much. But they're where they're like quite a flat shoe. All oh, my jeans are quite long and they literally hang on the floor. But do you know what? It's worth it for cute shoes. Wear some heel shoes. Yeah, babe, we're not taking some heel shoes. So you're right. I got this old jacket. Don't know if it goes, or I might trim it. Hey, then, just go. I might cut it. It's like a crop jacket. You might cut it. You yeah, I'm gonna cut it. What are you doing, Well, it doesn't go. Cutting up. Well, I can cut it. My jacket. Yeah, I can cut straight. Romy's getting really tired. She's going to have a nap in the car, I think. But yeah, this. Don't actually. It's not bad, but it needs a cut. I think I'm going to cut it to like here, maybe. That's too long. I need to do my laces up. Hang on. Who wants to get gets embarrassed, doesn't she? She used to like it in the vlog. Say hi, guys. 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 Say hi, guys.
<laughs> Mum's <laughs> better. Oh, Mum's going to come for herself. <laughs> Mum's better at vlogging than me, mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, we've just made it down to town and we're going to go shopping. It's like in the show, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's busy though, isn't it? Then they're going to walk you, like, to that side, this side. They're going around, I see someone I know. Is there a fucking vlogger? I don't care. Ruby gets so embarrassed when we vlog in a minute. I hate to be that popular. I'm not joking, I actually hate to be that popular. <laughs> Alright, mother hen. Off you go. <laughs> That's how she gets into curse. She tells people she's got a baby. She's also, not. look at my coat, guys. I cut it. Jason cut it for me, and it actually looks so much better, don't you think? Well, you didn't yeah. see it before. It looks nice. Does it like look it. silly if it cut? I forgot about those eyelashes on. I felt like a drag queen. Maddie had Lee's eyelashes on and she's moaning Wait, the whole way down here. Wait, what I actually look like. She wants me to stop vlogging. I'll vlog in a minute. We've made it to an Italian restaurant. What's the name of this place, Mad? Losteria, I think. Losteria. Yes. Yes, we are. You're meant to be the night. Romy is supposed to be asleep, but she does not like to sleep well in her fish chair, so she's wide awake. Also, my hair looks orange in this light. Doesn't it? Oh well. That bag's really nice. Love it. This is Maddie's handbag from Sheen. Where's your bag from? I don't know. I actually miss having a handbag, like a summer handbag. I carry all my stuff. I miss it so much. Say hi to the vlog. Hello. Hello. Girl. Romy has some lemon. Hang on. <gasps> Look at Romy with her lemon slice. <laughs> Music's loud in here. Yummy! Got lasagna. Ruby got some tomato pasta. Mum and Maddie got carbonara, garlic bread. <laughs> For that, uh, do not clue, come here, guys. Do not come to this restaurant. <laughs> I have to say, as much as we all enjoyed sitting down. Yeah, broke the glass a little before. Oh my god. As much as it was nice to sit down, but if I'm honest. It was the best meal. The meal. Mine was just pure cheese. Mum's was quite sickly and Maddie's, wasn't it, Mad? But yours was yeah. probably the best meal out of all of ours. Maddie, and Ruby's was just like a pot of chili, if I'm honest. <laughs> So yeah, don't advise. And he had no pizzas in Italian. Frozen pizza. Frozen garlic pizza. Yeah, we had frozen garlic bread. So they said we can have garlic bread, but they had no pizzas. Make it make sense in Italian. But now we're just gonna go to the galleries and try on some wedding dresses. I was saying to my vlog, this is like a cheap. Well, it's not a cheap. I told Jane, Jane, went, what do you call cheap then? I said, maximum eight hundred pound. He went, cheap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is cheap for, that a is cheap for a wedding dress. Yeah, isn't it? But it's just I want to get a feel of just trying it on, no pressure. Do you feel like I don't want to be like all eyes on me either? I think this is quite laid back compared yeah, to most. Be... I want all eyes on me. Yeah, but not like, how I feel like. Look at my belly. I look like I'm six months pregnant. Yeah, you look lovely, I reckon. You're not No. We'll have to have a bloody um, ding that for dessert in a minute. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's dinner. Make up for dinner. Make up for dinner. I'm starving still. <laughs> I got left half my food. Cheese? Well, too because yours yeah. is too creamy. Every night before I had that food, really I like felt like. Whereas Mother Hen, Ruby is just like demanding to push the pram. She's a little Mother Hen She's over there. Really yeah, we're going to the galleries. But it closes at six. What time is it now? Like half three? Yeah, we've got three hours. Yeah, we've Depending got a while. Time. Yeah, I'm going to try on a dress for three hours. No. I might get bored after two dresses, I might think of shit, do you know what I mean? If not, oh next God. up, Primark. <laughs> sheen. Yeah, Sheen. <laughs> if only they had a Sheen shop. Here we are. No, it says online, no appointment needed. Let's change of plan. <laughs> We're literally in the wedding dress shop and there's an hour and a half wait, even though you can't even book Where's online. So yeah. it's not very good service in here already. So we're kind of waiting, but Romy's so tired and yeah. And they did say we can't even leave the shop because if we leave, they might have like quicker time slots for us to come in. Don't make sense, does it? Bear in mind, they close at six, so an hour and a half from now it's half past five, so literally gonna give us half an hour to try and dress. But I think it's because they can't tell how long people are here for, innit? Do you reckon that's why? At this rate, we're not gonna be. 
We're gonna miss the football. <laughs> Kind of a bit light, but then mum did say like the whole reason we came out today. This is Romy, she's so tired. She will not go to sleep. Where's my phone gone? Hello. Say peekaboo. Peekaboo, I see you my little telly tubby. Look at her hair. What a fun afternoon guys. <laughs> That's actually funny in it. Lyrics. We can stick to your head. And you pull up. And you pull up. And you pull up the wind. Daddy Dobbies. Daddy Dobbies. Daddy Dobbies. Say hello. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> My hands and my face. <laughs> Good girl. Clever. Girl. Look at my hair. <laughs> Clever girl. She's just all Dress number one, guys. <gasps> I'm obsessed with that. That is such a pretty dress, and it's so you. Guys, I'm gonna be in charge of the train of the dress. <laughs> no pressure. Wait, let me take take a little. What a day. Oh my God, that honestly felt like so overwhelming <laughs> in that moment. Obviously I loved it, I need to close this door because Rumi's asleep. I think it felt so overwhelming because one, the place we went, I think I mentioned before, like the place we chose, what well, I chose to go to, it was um, basically a place where there was no bookings required, you just walk in, Sounded very easy, very laid back. You didn't have to pay a deposit, not a deposit, but like a booking fee to reserve your spot. So I thought, oh, that's perfect for like my first time trying on a dress. I didn't want anything too formal or full on. I wanted it to be very relaxed vibes. And I felt like that was perfect, even though the dress I'd seen online looked very nice, but I knew that they were like a cheaper price point, which personally on my wedding day, I don't want to be going too cheap. Like I was willing to spend well, I am willing to spend a bit more money because it's your wedding day. Who doesn't want to feel absolutely amazing on their wedding day? Like I personally just want to feel the best I've ever felt on my wedding day. So I know like I was going in with an open mind. I've never tried on any wedding dress in my life. I felt like this is my first time we're trying on a wedding dress. I want it to just be very chilled, laid back, nothing serious. Anyway, go in now, expect them to walk in. Also, we went out for food before, which you would have seen. The food was absolutely terrible guys, do not recommend going to that place we went to, I did include it in the vlog. And the service for a start was just terrible, even though it was literally empty in there. The food itself, it was like a an Italian restaurant and honestly, not good, I did not enjoy the food. Mum literally feels ill <laughs> since having her food. She had a carbonara and it was just too creamy and yeah, she feels sick. Mine was pr pretty much just pure cheese <laughs> and it was a lasagna, it was just literally like heaps of cheese on this lasagna, it was just too much. No pizzas and it's literally Italian. It was just not a vibe. Anyway, so it didn't start off to a good start. Get to this place, go in and we were like, oh yeah, we can walk in. Let's, she was like, hi, how can I help? And I was like, yeah, can we just try on, can I try on some dresses please? And she was like, yeah, let me just check on the wait time. So we're like, wait time? What do you mean wait time? So she goes over to this woman. Bear in mind, I know it's a Saturday, but we went like later on in the Saturday. It was actually like three o'clock half past three by the time we even arrived there so we were thinking like we've probably gone at a quieter time on a saturday like we were expected to be like busier in the morning 
she goes to speak to the manager and the manager was like oh yeah it's like a one and a half hour away so we're like oh right so we're all looking at each other like do we want to stay for like that amount of time just to wait for some dresses my mum was like oh no that's the whole reason we've come like downtown like let's like do it like we've made a day of it let's just do it, like wait the, the amount of time so my mum was like that's perfect like we'll come back in an hour and a half and she's like oh no like one of you has to at least wait here because um it might go basically like it might be sooner it might be later like we'd rather you stay basically so I was like great Romy at this point was just so tired she she's the worst child at fighting her sleep and when you're out <laughs> it's not ideal honestly I thought she'd fall asleep but she just didn't and it just wasn't a good thing you know so I thought right if we can go out and about while we're waiting I could probably get her to sleep in that time and she'll probably fall asleep in a push chair and that'll be fine no so we had to wait there so we're like fanning around just like playing around in this little waiting area so I think Romy just got so overtired. Yeah, so it just got to the point where, yeah, she just got so, so tired. And she just she just fights her sleep and it's so frustrating. Anyway, so we waited about an hour, actually. It wasn't an hour and a half. So we waited about an hour, which just was long enough for a place that accepts no bookings. So personally, I think that's a downfall, that place. They should definitely accept bookings for a Saturday because it was just obviously a long time to be waiting and you've got to be waiting there. If you can go wander around town, that's probably not too bad. But when you're expecting to have no bookings and walk straight in, it's not ideal. So we walked in and waited an hour, eventually got seen by someone. Um, this girl was lovely, the the person who was like helping us try on, like helping me try on these wedding dresses. But I don't know, I just didn't feel like I loved any of the dresses I tried on. Um, there was one, I feel like I know what style roughly I did like, although I did want it to be I did go in with an open mind expecting to like maybe the dress I do like I don't like on or the dress I don't like on I don't like off I would love on so I kind of wanted to be like open mind I wanted to try lace I wanted to try sparkle I wanted to try poofy dresses I wanted to try skinny dresses I wanted to try the whole lot just to try and get like a range of what I did like and I kind of felt like the woman that I went with well that I got given she kind of like if I liked a dress she would just stick to that style of dresses and I tried to explain to her like I want to I want like to try like crazy dresses, dresses that I've never tried before because I might actually really like them on. Like people might actually say, oh my God, babe, that dress really, really, really suits you even though it's not a dress I particularly would go for. So that really frustrated me. So I even went out with her looking at the dresses and I was like, yeah, I like that one. And she's like, yeah, but you've said before you don't like this and you don't like this at like, pinpointing things I've said that I didn't like. And I was like, yeah, I didn't like that on that dress, but I might actually like it on this dress because it's different. <laughs> See, it was kind of frustrating. So she was even trying to, be, trying to get me to try on dresses I've already tried on that I've said I don't want to try on again. She was trying to, yeah, it was just, it was just so frustrating. And for my first time trying on a dress, it really made me feel like I didn't enjoy it. I didn't really enjoy the experience. I think it made it worse because obviously Romy was just so miserable. Every time they revealed me out of the curtain, she was going, ah, she wanted to see me. And I just said to my mum, like, I'm one, I'm never bringing Romy out trying on wedding dresses again as much as it's such a lovely idea but when you're trying to try on dresses with a crawl in nine month old and she just wants her mum 24 7 it's not ideal because i'm trying to try on a dress trying to communicate with people trying to have live in the moment and i've got a baby crying for me it's just not ideal so Jaden's definitely gonna have to look after romy next time because it was just way too overwhelming and it was just like overload like you know it's just like sensory overload like you're trying to try on new dresses trying to take in do i like this do i like that it was a lot and she had me on this dress and she like full-on styled it, styled it with a belt and a veil and don't get me wrong i did like it but um like obviously i, try, I think i mentioned like i've had a baby my belly is not the same i do not feel 100 percent myself in my body at the minute and in my wedding dress i want to feel 100 percent confident i want to be that that girl you know that everyone's like talking about like I said to my mum like the bride on a wedding day is like the main thing like personally I think when someone posts a picture of someone in their wedding dress I'm like oh my god what dress is she wearing like that is like the first thing people look at and any of those dresses I did bear in mind I only tried on three dresses I've tried and like I've tried on like 10 dresses I didn't I tried on three and they were literally like oh do you want to buy it do you want me to put it behind the till for you and I was like love I've told you this is my first time trying on a wedding dress and you want me to buy this dress like I'm not gonna fall in love with the first dress I've tried on and I made it very clear she was asking me like on a scale of one to five what would you rate this dress and all of the dresses were like three uh, and she knew that and she was kind of like oh okay so um I'll keep this dress behind for you we'll keep it till tomorrow just give us a call back because in the end I just literally said to her like I'm sorry I gotta go like my child literally needs me she I'm not in the mood to try any more dresses basically and she's like right that's fine also ignore this mark on my arm 
don't know where the hell that's come from for my tan so yeah that was my experience of trying on uh trying on my first set of wedding dresses could have gone a lot worse could have gone a lot lot better i think i've learned not to go anywhere cheap basically anymore if i want a dress i need to go full on deep in the dresses any price range to be honest but i'd say i wouldn't spend more than like three grand on a wedding dress i think that's a bit extortionate but i might spend more i don't know i just feel like i need to try on some dresses that i will actually like because personally any of all of those dresses i tried i didn't like one bit to be honest i did like certain aspects of certain dresses but i felt like they couldn't accommodate for me like there was this lady another woman trying on a dress like a few dressing rooms down and i fell in love with it i was just like oh my god i love that dress like can you can i can i try on that dress and she's like no sorry i was like what i think it's because i didn't, they didn't have my size which i understand that but like there was no like oh like we have this one similar like i'll try and find something similar for you to try on there was nothing like that so if you're trying to go to this shop downtown i just wouldn't recommend going anywhere like that to be honest i felt like yeah they try and make it a very laid back vibe but at the same time it's not it's very pressurized because they're like basically we have one of those dresses in store and that's it once it's sold it's sold it's gone which i feel like that's like that in the majority of places they have but yeah i felt like i felt very pressurized even though they knew it was my first time trying on wedding dresses but yeah that was my i've been talking for 10 minutes about wedding dresses but that was my overview of trying on wedding dresses in case any of you wanted to know and i wanted to document this for myself and i will include any future wedding dress trip trips because i feel like it's very interesting i want to document it for myself to look back on when i am a wife you know to document myself trying on wedding dresses but yeah it was very like an eye it was an eye opener today and it made me more like thinking of like oh my god i gotta prepare so much for this wedding so another exciting topic um when maddie and ruby and my mum came back here we well i made with maddie a group chat of all of the people invited to my hen do which is just another thing that's very very exciting to think about so i was gonna mention i think i mentioned it in my last vlog if you do want to see like i probably would include it anyway to be fair for myself but if you do actually want an in-depth video of like what i want to do in my hen do and things like that then let me know because i'll do like a whole video of like deposits and things like that on what we've put on what and yeah very exciting things like that so just let me know if you want to see anything more interested and more detailed things of what i'm actually doing for my hen do any wedding things related you know i can't wait to get in a bath i'm honest i feel like during you feel like you've got makeup on like you feel like you've touched about 10 different things being out like i just can't wait to get in the bath which is running now my house is a literal mess downstairs grayson's had like a well of a time playing with all of Romy's toys even though he's six so i really need to clean my house but i'm gonna have a bath first even though i should clean and then bath but i just need to like chill zone out and relax that's definitely needed today after tonight after what what day i'm at to be honest so yeah that was my whole experience and i'll probably vlog maybe once i'm out of the bath i don't know who knows 